Yeah. Um, who wants to do the recon? I. Um, I slotted in the other Centauro. Yeah, then. We do it like this, if no one objects. Unless Lancer uh, insists on going on wheels. Hmm? Uh... Where do you want me again? We still need a Bizarro commander, don't we? A Bizarro, yeah. I don't know how to use a Bizarro. Yeah. You better off with the uh, Centauro? You can command my Centauro Lancer and then I'll gun if you want to do it that way. Are there any tanks left? We have uh, Leopard 2s. Can I take a tank? I would say yes. I don't know. Yeah, then. Uh... Tacom switched to the Pizarro, so the tank platoon is free to take. No, oh, the whole platoon, right. Yeah, the idea, uh, ideally we'd have two guys in the Pizarro platoon, um, at least to begin with, uh, and one person just handling the the uh, Leopard platoon, because the Leopard platoon will be third in the order of March. Sure. So it'll be the last to make contact, but it's, you know, I anticipate that it's going to be a very fluid situation, so... Um, you know, as we encounter and bypass, we may have to switch someone, you know, from the Pizarro platoon so that we have two guys in the Leopard platoon. Again, I'm easy wherever you want me to go. Uh, I just picked 3 1 there. Uh, Marco, maybe you can move to 4 1 so you'll have um, a section leader position. Right. If it works the Spanish way, the sexual leader is number three. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think it does because the order that it's listed in the uh, you know in the box here suggests that the number four vehicle is the section leader. That just that it still uses the default Steel Beasts call sign. Yeah, I didn't know how to set up a Spanish call sign list. <laughs> okay, if everyone's in where they need to be, uh, I'll start the mission. Just make sure you're not all tabbed out. As soon as everyone's in, I'll load up the uh, the mission plan. So the. Um Miring terrain you mentioned is that light green stuff, right? No, the, uh, the, the light green stuff is the, the woods, and the darker green stuff, that's um, bog. Bog? Bog. Thanks. Ah, okay. Paladin, you guys just use the one net. You don't use subgroups or anything, do you? Um, normally, we do use subgroups, um, but since we only got six people now, um, I think we're probably okay with just a single net. It doesn't really make sense to um, to break off. Roger.
Okay, did everyone just get the mission graphics I sent? Roger. Yep. Hopefully they're complete. Sometimes they get screwed up in transmission. Um, did everyone get a chance to look over the op board? Mm hmm Okay, I'll just go through the, the concept of operations again, and then we can just ask questions. Um, the objective is to um, intercept the enemy retreating brigade to our north before it can get to the uh, crossing sites at OBJ. Uh, so we need to maintain a fairly high tempo of operations. Uh, and I want to advance on a narrow front. Um, we'll have a reconnaissance screen of two vehicles, two combat vehicles plus one of the FO vehicles preceding us by about two kilometers. Uh, the remainder of the company will stay in column. Um, as we make contact, as the reconnaissance elements make contact, um, try to avoid getting decisively engaged. Instead, we've got three company, three batteries of howitzers on call, so um, try and find a bypass around the enemy units you encounter. Uh, you can fix or suppress them with indirect fires. Um, as the lead element gets uh, is engaged doing that, uh, the remainder of the company will pass around through the bypass, uh, assuming one is found. Um, if it's possible for the reconnaissance element to um, find a gap without having to uh, fix an enemy element, um, then by all means just keep going. Um, but if you do have to um, deploy to fix the enemy, then uh, the next element in the column behind you will assume the reconnaissance role and uh, proceed the column uh, and just r we'll just keep repeating that as necessary. As the lead element um, encounters the enemy, fix it or, or bypass it and uh, we'll just leapfrog through. We need to maintain a fairly fast tempo. We've only got about um, an hour and a half maximum to get to the uh, crossing sites, so ideally we can be there about 10 minutes or 15 minutes in advance, get ourselves set up uh, for some good ambush positions and the battle positions indicated. Uh, as Ronan mentioned, the dark green uh, is is uh, bog territory, so that's going to be a little complicated getting through that initial patch past our line of departure. Uh, one thing I noticed in the mission briefing is that enemy engineering elements were um, seen moving eastwards in the general vicinity of Lane Sally. Um, a little concerned now that they may have laid mines there, so be on the lookout. Presumably if they're in a rush to uh, fall back that they were surface laid mines, but um, that is a definite uh, danger in that area. Uh, and generally speaking, um, as we cross the line of departure, the reconnaissance elements should try and stick to the southern half of our sector. That's where I want to try and move through, even though there are those axis of advance graphics that came from higher. Uh, those move right down the valley, and that's that's a death trap because there are excellent enfilading fiery positions on both both flanks. So uh, I'm going to try and stick keep us to the southern half of the map. Um, once we get to phase line Brad. Um, Again, I, I don't want to engage that enemy strong point if I can. Uh, wh whoever's in the re reconnaissance screen at that point will try and do a route recce of Stella. Um, I'm hopeful or very, uh, I hope very much that that's going to be free because otherwise we're going to have to try and get around Nancy on the north side of our sector. And I'm not looking forward to having to move north um, through that kill zone there. Um, so once we get around the enemy strong point, uh, between Carl and uh, the river, uh, we'll just repeat our initial move, which is you know we'll have a reconnaissance screen out front and the rest of the company in column. And uh, as enemy elements are fixed and bypassed, we'll just have the succeeding elements in the column follow and assume. Um, once we get to the objective, I'll just have to issue a frego as to who goes to which battle positions there, um, and hopefully we will catch retreating enemy elements by surprise because I don't want to have to take on an entire brigade or even even a battalion strength enemy mechanized force trying to move through us. So, uh, any questions? Okay, uh, I'll since we don't have a fire support officer today, I'll have to juggle the artillery myself. Uh, I'm going to try and put on-call missions well ahead of the of the reconnaissance screen so that uh, you know as the reconnaissance screen is able to observe a particular 
uh, TRP, the missions will be ready to go on short notice if they're needed. Um, but obviously, if we need to fix an enemy element and bypass it, that's going to get the priority of fires. Uh, so we'll try and use massed fires on, on those detected and bypassed units. And uh, in case it wasn't clear from the op board, the order of march, uh, it will, first the uh, company is going to move up uh, along that road, along the valley, uh, just north of Salt Lake. And uh, as the S2D, 2D will hold position uh, until one of the FO vehicles gets up to it. Uh, then 2D will proceed across the line of departure along with the FO vehicle. And um, the remainder of the column will stay about two kilometers behind the reconnaissance elements. Uh, the Pizarro platoon will be first. Uh, followed by the Leo platoon, followed by the XO and CO vehicles, uh, and the CSS unit will <clears throat> leapfrog along behind us. Hopefully we won't need to make too much use of the recovery vehicles. Okay, so you can take a couple minutes to plot your routes, and uh, let me know when everyone's ready. Uh, TACOM, uh, you're leading uh, one Bravo. I'll just, um, I've got a section in your uh, platoon. I'll just go with your route rather than two different routes. Say again, Marco? Yeah, you're leading the Brazara one Bravo? Yeah. Yeah, I've got a section in your platoon. If you plot the route, I won't touch my vehicles till we get to the first staging area. That way we, um, we don't have to split them up. We can keep them together. Okay. Is tank, tank platoon. Um, how do I know which vehicle to follow behind? Uh, well, you'll be. Which one's gonna be the last one? When I need to follow. Him? Well, you'll be. You'll follow behind the last um, Pizarro in right. the uh, in the platoon. So, uh, you know, you can stay a couple hundred meters behind, and no need to bunch up. Yeah, this is two delta. Um, I will move forward uh, till I'm just uh, west of the line of departure, so I can have uh, already an eye into the valley and towards uh, hill six nine eight. We wait, uh, wait in covered position till uh, you give us the go. Roger. <laughs> 